Good morning on a very still day, and I've just worked out why. The fountain isn't on yet. I am up before the fountain. Well, that bodes well. I'm going to run downstairs and get some tea. I've got lots to do today. Is no one else up yet? This is very unusual. The kettle was still warm. That is a dead giveaway. I'm going through a phase of matching my mugs to my outfits, which does mean going through a lot of different mugs as I get changed throughout the day, but I think it's worth it. I'm convinced that it's finding joy in all of the little things throughout the day that lead to a lifetime of happiness. And I'm going to need this for strength because today, Philip and I are going to start painting Bon Maman's bathroom and I have the paint colours just here. Let's see what we've got. Oh, Sin. Good morning, little ray of sunshine. I want it to be... Uh, and I'm just uh, opening the paint because I'm going to be painting Bon Maman's bathroom today. You look excited. Why this lack of excitement, Mummy? Oh, darling, you do too much, that's why. Well, that's not something I ever thought I'd hear. Uh -huh. So we have Hopper and Garden. Ah, oh, you know Garden is the same colour as the Winter Salon. OK. They're lovely colours. It's the colours that Little Green make in partnership with the National Trust, who look after all the stately homes in England. And they're, they're beautiful, beautiful colours. The thing is, is it the right colour for the situation? I know, we spent hours, hours going through every colour that they had. Solid. Yeah, and look, it's paint. The yes. worst case scenario, yes. we will repaint it if we don't like it. Yes. Are you off now? You seem, well, you seem I, like you're I, going I, some morning, I, Percy. Good morning. How are you? Good, I'm good. You look very well. I've got a car full of laundry. I must take to the... That's why you were being all mea culpa, mea culpa, I got up late. Yes. That's what I couldn't understand why you were telling me what time you were getting up. Yes, you're doing I the laundry run. I wanted very early, but this gentleman there, he gets disturbed nights, and so I let him sleep this morning. Quite right. Well, yes. if the change, then we're not going to the dishetary. That's, That's what we thought we'd mix it up with the laundry, you know, really make your lives exciting. Yeah. We've got such a wonderful life. <laughs> <laughs> so, so very. <laughs> well, what are you up to? Hi. Well, it's uh, time to flower the chateau. Flower up the chateau. Yeah, we have the flower delivery coming today from Jean Baptiste. Oh, the birds are excited. And we have birds. No, so I've just been to the forest and uh, I've got all the greenery. Um, so that's what I... That usually... looks very much like my hedge. <laughs> <laughs> well... You're pruning at the same time. I'm going on the back side, so not in the... Actual... No, it's actually, it needs pruning anyway, so it's totally fine. If you're tidying it up, it's great. I'm just, uh, actually, I'm, uh, I'm actually doing that. I'm taking away the ones with pointing. Yeah, perfect. Out. And then I've gone into the forest to get some beech and some common snowberries. So every Wednesday, like afternoon, you'll see me with a lot of greens. It's so nice. Yeah. And that's the way of telling the difference between beech and hornbeam, isn't it? Because they mm. look the same, but beech is smooth. Yes. And hornbeam, like our hedge, is uh, winky. Yeah. I, I like, like, yeah, I love the ridges. It's thought darker and smoother as well. Yes. So you get a bit of a different contrast in foliage, mm. which is nice. So, yeah. Basically. Oh, well, I'll come back when the flowers have arrived yes. and see what you're doing with them. Wonderful. But it's looking tidy in here. Does you're it? making it really nice. So this is just, whilst the bread oven room, it's a little bit of work still carrying on in there. A little bit, little bit. But we still have to have flowers in the chateau, so <laughs> here we are. <laughs> I want to start work, but I've had to come outside because I cannot find a roller tray. This is so typical. But Kirsty told me that she thinks there might be one in here underneath the workbench hmm it's not looking good drat oh hang on that is one that is a roller tray worth its weight in solid gold right, i'm in here with philip do you want to see the paint colors Love do you remember them well ish uh, maybe you shouldn't be doing that on Call the marble surface yes maybe not okay what? Here? No, no, I brought that for a different reason. What did you bring that for? It's a trick. A trick? Shall I show you the trick? Okay. But what trick for what? Well, for using one of those rolling things, rolling baskets. What's a rolling basket? <laughs> oh, no, I just wash it afterwards, don't worry. But it's, a, it's easier to clean up. I don't mind cleaning the thing at all. 
It's quite dusty. But we'll need to rinse it first, obviously. 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 We're dust in the oh, paint. It's a sort of trick on Instagram. We were just doing this. Like... We can try it if you want to try it, but then you're going to need a dust sheet underneath it because I'm worried about that. I had an automatic reaction against this because I've been painting my whole life and it just feels wrong, but no, I'm going to learn new things. Mm. Let's give it a shot. The paint even comes with a stirrer. I'm always wandering around looking for a stick to stir the paint with, but no, we don't need it. It's so satisfying seeing the colour emerging as you stir it. Okay. This is the garden which looks much paler, but it's actually the colour on the walls of the winter salon. Mm. So it dries a little darker than that. And this one is called Hopper, and we've never used this one here before. That is very beautiful. It's a very nice colour. Again, I think it will dry a bit darker, and we need to consider that. Okay. I'll try dark first. Big okay. stuff, so... You like the idea of inverting it, having well, dark on the wall and then lighter on the woodwork? I don't know. I like both ideas, so I want to see how it looks. Let's give it a shot. Actually, that looks very, very beautiful underneath very the nice leaves. Color, yes, I'm curious to see how dark it's going to get. But if it stayed like that, I would love it, but I think it's going to get quite a bit darker. I haven't even put the other colour on yet, but we already know that we actually want the darker colour, not for the main body of the wall, but for the bit that goes right against the wallpaper. Along here, we'll have a dado rail, a little wooden rail here, and it will be painted in this darker colour then with the lighter colour below. with the way the bathroom's coming along. I've left it so that the first coat can dry. Now I'll have a little bite to eat and then go back in half an hour. I see all the flowers have arrived. Yes, we have so many beautiful flowers. Oh, these are gorgeous. Yes, so we've got carnations and some snapdragons, beautiful. I love the snapdragons, but I have to say carnations, I'd completely gone off because I thought of them as uh, petrol station flowers. Yeah. I'm changing my mind. Yeah, they can be quite beautiful and they're uh, locally grown as well. I know, and they were one of the most popular flowers in the 18th century. And when you actually take the time to look at them closely, mm. they're so delicate, oh, so they pretty. They are beautiful. They're coming back in. Yeah. To fashion. Rebecca. Well, like little baby sunflowers. Yeah, yeah, it's beautiful. And then we've got some stuff in the garden. Um, I've pinched a few of the uh, dahlias. Um, These are gorgeous. Just a couple. And then the roses from the big rose tree in the garden. And they will be beautiful. Were these from Jean-Baptiste? No, they're from our garden. These are from the garden? Yeah, yeah they're Where? from the old sweet peas. They don't smell. Yes, they're the ones in with the roses. Yes. Oh, I yes. love those. Yeah, some greenery as well. And seeds. the lilies? And the lilies. Are they ours? Yes. And look, <gasps> do you remember what you said would never last? Your dead eucalyptus. Yes. It's high, it's taller than that like dresser. Yes, I'd, I'd written the death certificate and everything. <laughs> Look at that. You see, whilst there's life, there's hope. Yeah, it's thriving. It's so beautiful. I don't really cut, cut from it uh, during the week, mm. but it's a special week. And lots of nice people are coming. So. Yes, lovely weekend. Yeah, so. I have to say I love eucalyptus because I like that grey green. Me too. And I think it'll go well with the white. They will. And these whites. So we'll do the classic white. It's good to see you in your happy place, Marie. Thank you. It makes all of us happy. Thank you, me too. Is this your summer office? Yes, this is my summer office. I wanted a break from the painting, so I've come outside. I really like coming here to do work. I brought my admin with me, but I've been putting the admin off a little bit because I was reading Homes and Antiques and House and Garden, but I just saw this. Look, it's Harry. Yes. We interviewed him when we went to the Chelsea Flower Show. That's true. He was so, so nice. He made a beautiful garden for a school. He was absolutely fascinating. And now he's in house and garden receiving one of their 
2023 Design Awards. Wow, I think that's it... all up to you, darling. It's oh, yeah, all of thanks course. to you. It yes. was, yeah, that was the Chelsea Blazer. It was the Chelsea Blazer video. <laughs> He could have done it without us, <laughs> Philip. No, honestly, seriously, if you haven't seen the Chelsea Flower Show video with the interview with Harry, do go and see it. I'll put a link to it now. He is amazing. And also, he's got an incredibly beautiful voice. Philip <laughs>, laughs whenever I say that, but it was like a deep rumble. So he's just lovely to listen to as well. To be fair, his garden was also very nice. I'm getting completely distracted. I'm now wanting to make brand ad. You know, that salt cod paste. I love it. OK, I'm, I'm actually going to do the admin now. <laughs> But whilst I'm here doing my admin, I want to tell you about NordVPN. I'm very lucky because they've offered to sponsor today's video with this ad and I always, always use it. As many of you know, I've been using NordVPN for years now. I originally started using it to be able to watch British TV whilst I was in France, because for those of you who don't know what a VPN is, it masks where you are in the world. So the English servers for TV would think that my computer was in England. I feel very comfortable doing this because I do pay for my TV license in England, but I still couldn't access the content from France. There are so many different countries to choose from, and with a single click, you are there. It is, let's face it, the easiest way to travel. But although that's why I started using it, and I certainly still use it for that, my main reason for using it now is actually online security, and that's why I use it even at home, even for just doing my normal admin. Because NordVPN is far more than just a VPN. Its threat protection protects you from malware, trackers, and ads, and all data is encrypted encrypted with next generation data encryption. So wherever I am in the world, whether I'm in some cafe somewhere or safely in my garden, I know that I can get on with my banking because all of my data is protected. If you'd like to try it for yourself, then go to nordvpn.com forward slash Chateau Diaries for an exclusive deal and it's risk free with Nord's 30 day money back guarantee. I should get straight back to the admin, but house and garden is just right here. I'll take it away. <laughs> I'm heading back to work now. I think it is time to do the second coat. everything back in place we're not going to be able to do the skirting board but we think for that we might go for the darker green but we can live with it for a week yeah, yeah, yeah. as the guests arrive tomorrow really yeah i love the way the bath area looks i think the biggest change is going to come from actually putting in the dado rail yes. just having that proper bit of wood and the there and the picture rail but it's beautiful I really start to feel the woodland more and more with the green below it. We're getting there, it works really bit by bit. As well, yeah, really. it really brings in the curtains. Yeah. But I might still change the colour of the curtains on the dressing table. No, no, I feel like that sort of ties in the uh, pinks on the light fixtures. I think it's maybe the wrong pink and I'm starting to think, and I know this is ridiculous because I was fighting for them and you were against them, now you like them and I think I might think they're too much. I think they're just making too much of a statement when it should be more about the wallpaper. I don't love them, right? Yeah. I would have never yeah. bought them. However, I think it works well here because it's the same colour green on the leaves. Yeah, it's perfect it green. Blends in. It's like almost like one of the branches just... I think it's fine for now, but then maybe in future change it for something else. But, well, it's bit by bit because obviously we can only come in here in between the guests. <laughs> But next week we'll carry on with the skirting and we're going to get this room looking beautiful. I have just been called by Pavlina and Maria to a wreath making workshop. Hello, extremely beautiful people. Hello. Gosh, it really is midsummer. Oh, oh no, I might go back upstairs. This is midsummer the celebration, not midsummer the horror film. Ah, uh, okay. okay, yes, yeah, no. Very important. Easily, very important. easily confused. Yeah, yeah. What's happening? So, i dag så ska vi lägga lite blomsterkranser. Oh, sorry. You're not... speaking Teletubby. Wait, oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do a little midsummer casual celebration. It was on Friday, but we had guests and dinner, so we're going to do one tonight with everybody. And that's why everyone's looking floral yeah. and beautiful. Mm -hmm. Just 
we're just going to make flower crowns and have fun. So first go and forage a bit for ourselves, look at some flowers we want to include and then I'll teach everybody how to do them. Fun, okay, yeah. fantastic. Yeah. So I'm already got... scanning, 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 no flowers in sight. This is not good. <laughs> you might have to go to the garden. <laughs> everybody get a scissor. And how is it possible that whenever we need scissors, we can never find scissors? And it turns out this house had hundreds of scissors. No, no, no. This is my floristry oh, studio. Oh. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You're probably never going to see any of these scissors again. I will be counting them. <laughs> I know of very unusual flowers, but it takes a very tall person to cut them. You see them? I'm afraid they'll be a little bit prickly. Too pretty. Yeah, oh yes, heavy. the cardoons, mummy, yes, maybe not. Just calendula. Everyone seems to be focusing on that side of the garden, so I'm going to head over to the pergola. I'm pretty sure there are some spectacular roses over there. Yes, this is what I had in mind. It's a pity that the yellow ones are a little past their best, but some of these lovely pink ones would be great. Yes, I've spotted yellow ones. That is exactly what I was hoping for. And I think I'm going to be needing all three of those. I'm feeling pretty pleased with my selection so far. So I think I can afford to take a bit of time out to go and show you how the chicks are getting on because they're in with the chickens now and looking so cute and happy. And the chickens have been pretty good with them. I was worried that they would attack them, but no, they're still in very much two separate groups with the main chickens over here and the new chicks over there but they all seem to cohabitate fairly peacefully. It looks as though they're in a cage, but it's in fact open. They can come and go. Hello, how are you getting on, darlings? Do you still feel a bit safer in there? I've got one adventurous one out here. Several adventurous ones coming running. How do you manage to get around with those massive feet? Can there be a better midsummer celebration than looking at new life in the chicken coop? especially new life with feet like that. Olive's come to see all the excitement. As usual, she's getting a bit squawky. Olive doesn't like any change. She's always just a little bit indignant. I'm a bit concerned because I've really only got a few roses and you all have a lot more. Yeah. Was I supposed to have well, a lot the more? Instructions, yeah, the instructions were that we needed some foliage. No, well, it's, it's easier to make the crown that way. But... You'd be pleased to know Isabel been using this opportunity to garden. <laughs> I've weed. been actually deadheading. <laughs> yeah. No, you're not allowed to weed. Mummy, how many times have we had this conversation? Yeah, but you see, look at that. Look at that. How many seeds do you want? From what? Uh, what am I looking at, Mummy? It's a chive. Now, that's why right. you cannot have chives. It, it's it's very bad. In seed. You, know, you need to cut the, the top so that you mm. can have chive leaves. Okay. That, uh, I need a bit more clematis. I'll meet you in there. Okay. <laughs> Madam, please choose a cup. Oh, this is one of my favourite ones. So I'll have this one. Okay. Thank you. And now we can reveal, we can open the, uh, not cloche, but lid. So they're all individual flowering teas. Oh. And they've got all really cute names. And so we can choose, so they're all different here. Okay. So we can choose the ones that we want. All right, go for it. You choose the one. Two dragons play pearl. Okay, mm -hmm. let's have a consensus. Which do we want? Rising sun. Happy together. Happy together. Happy together. Okay. Uh, happy together. Yeah, it's got to be, hasn't it? Right. So it's, I think we need to give it a few minutes and then it's supposed to open up in there. Open up, yeah. And in the meantime, we can learn how to make the wreaths. Yay! Well, there's plenty of different ways to do it. The one that is maybe most common is to make little bouquets, mm -hmm. tiny little bouquets, and then you bind them together with flora tape. It's sticky tape and it's waterproof as well. Um, and it's very elastic. So you just do that like that. Oh, spin that's it, nice and easy. Spin it around and then you make quite a few of these and then you take two of these wires that we got for all of you in two different colors mm -hmm. and then you can 
put them like that, all of the bouquets onto each other, and then you kind of put the wire, spin it around for each bouquet you put down. Okay. Yeah. Or you could do that easy way, which is just to cut different bits in different lengths and just layer everything onto one part of the wire, like this. And with the other you wrap around. Yeah. That's so pretty. The flower has opened out and you can just see it so clearly inside there. How do they do that? That looks lovely, Mama. Paper and I wire, hope so. Yeah. Which will... we, went, we were going for like Scandinavian Yes, but no one Asian told me this. And you've gone fully Mexican party. Yeah. Totally. Do you like the flamingos? Yes. Who would have thought that the retro dress that I bought in Imaus would come in useful not once, but twice? You three look just like the three graces together. I am Titania. You are? You are? I'm not going to argue with you. Wow. I was not expecting that. I am very happy. Yes. Oh, double-sided one. Not many of us have that. I should have known that you'd outdo everyone. I love the flower child. Do you like it? I like it very much. I like your roses. Thank you. I don't know, I feel that I underdid it having seen all of you. And wait till you see Philip, though I think I need to make him a wreath because he doesn't have one. He was editing, so I'll, I'll make him a quick wreath with these. Okay. I might just go very, very pure. You should see what he's wearing. He's got fantastic green trousers on. Okay. And I think this will go very nicely indeed. I've made Philip. Now he came down with a hat, so I've made it into a kind of plume. I'm quite pleased with this. Philip, you look like Robin Hood. Well, sort of 1950s, voyaging in Italy from America for the first time, looking quite chic, Robin Hood. Well, these are my... Oh, I can't look but Yeah, be careful, your plume. <laughs> I mean, it's a magnificent plume, and it would be the same if it was an ostrich feather, you know, it would flap around a bit. I just want to say, is, uh, without looking down, these are my mother's trousers from the 80s, I think. <laughs> They're so good. And, uh, Can we have a little turn? Grandfather's belt from the 60s. Oh, yes, very good. Yeah. You just keep holding on to your plume best. How oh, I love Italy at this time of year. Or oh, Mexico. Maybe we could be in Mexico. You know what I need now is a rosé. Oh, I would love a rosé. Mummy and I just went to drink our rosé in the Jardin à l'Anglaise. It's nice that we're using it so much. And we're coming back and seeing a photo shoot going on with Thor. Thor's very interested in the photo shoot. I think he's after her headgears. <laughs> Do you mind if we just sneak past? <laughs> Where is Percy? Oh, Mummy, I've never heard you say that before. Where? Oh, the cabbage plates. This is Maria's table, isn't it? It looks so pretty. Oh, oh look at the fruit. Is that garlic bread? It is. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, thank goodness, because what we didn't have was a high priest. So we're fine now. The high priest. Well, as a high priest, I want to announce that although there will be a container sent around for your donations, a large container, <laughs> You will not be under any pressure to submit to donations. But you will find that the more you donate, the more cleansed your soul will become. Do you accept biscuits? Yes, anything. <laughs> <laughs> Very weird. <laughs> so I made a pasta salad with pork chops and uh, tomatoes and pasta and parmesan and then uh, Pavlina made a lovely salad from the garden and I made Philip's favorite garlic bread that's what <laughs> Philip's garlic bread was inspired by by Marie's garlic bread that's yeah. the OG a yeah. vat of lemonade yeah. <laughs> okay and I brought ice out if anybody yeah. would like it and we will have a very rustic dessert very, very excited. Just as the sun is going down over La Land, we have been called out and apparently we have to walk all the way around the chateau for some sort of ritual. Well, that's the cutest thing I've ever seen. Yeah. Oh, I think that we have a new high priestess in town. Yes. Do you hear the sound of nature? Yes, I do. The murmur of life? Yes, I do. I, I think you, you do a better job. L'entendez-vous? L'entendez-vous le menu flot sur les cailloux? Il passe et court et glisse et doucement dédie aux branches qui sur son cours se penche sa chanson lisse. This is what I was going for. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you very much. <laughs> we will have to release our creations. Are we playing poo sticks? Uh, I beg your pardon? You don't know poo sticks? Poo sticks, this is Poo not... sticks is when you drop, uh, you drop a stick 
on one side of the bridge and the person whose stick arrives first on the other side of the bridge is the winner of proof sticks. So we will be releasing our flower crowns <laughs> with yeah. good intentions and healing for ourselves. Oh, wonderful. So the next not poo sticks season. is what you're saying. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Feel very we're, different we're, vibe. We're making an offering. But your destiny depends on how your crown will flow. Oh, you oh, float. Very little destiny of <laughs> music. What happened to your crown, which was rather magnificent, your plumage? Mm. It kept falling <laughs> off, so I took it off. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is what's left. So okay. Philip is going first. With his uh, wreath. <laughs> uh, yes, his magnificent wreath. Have you seen, by the way, there's actual stones there that have been laid properly, like a tile floor? Can you see? Yeah, I can actually, oh. yes. Oh, oh run, run, run! <laughs> see? Oh, yes, yeah! yeah. Woohoo! Okay, I've made my wish. Amazing! Oh, very oh amazing. yes! Oh! oh. It's in such a shame. It's an offering. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And it's given with great generosity. Mm. <laughs> oh, there it is. Yeah, there yes. it is. Yes, she's got to. Come on, try and push me along, Mummy. Your daughter needs help. Oh, dear. Mummy and I have come to a standstill. No, no, no. Oh, no, no. Your mother, oh. mother doesn't want to run. <laughs> Oh, this one can push yeah. Stephanie's out, actually. Maybe. Oh, I got stuck together. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, come on! Oh. Give me the other way! Oh. Looks like some sort of Perfect Viking funeral. <laughs> Don't say that! No, it's more like the aftermath of Ophelia's drowning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, that's miles better. <laughs> the final crown. <laughs> No. no. <laughs> this was superb and it's not over because now apparently we are going home for dessert. It is pretty magical, isn't it? And I feel lucky every day. I feel like we've been with you every day. We don't throw away our flower crowns in Scandinavia. Well, there you go. You stick with yours. Make that clear. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what is this? Well, okay, so they look very rustic. Yeah, so they're sorrel pies. Sorrel pie? Sweet sorrel pies. And it tastes, it looks very strange, I understand, but it will taste kind of like rhubarb. And we had some uh, leftover white currants. So and is this Cypriot or fine. Russian? No, 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 this is, yeah, like Russian-esque. Okay, Russian-esque. Russian Slavic-esque, Dacha-esque. <laughs> mm, that's the dash of chic we're going no, for tonight anyway. Yes, 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 yes. This is delicious. I I love it. It's very simple. Mm. The filling is just you chop the sorrel, sprinkle sugar on it, and corn flour, mix it, and then you just put it on there and that's it. Mm. And it does taste like rhubarb, mm -hmm. which is one of my favourite things. We have been called downstairs to the ceremonial fire. <laughs> oh, that is magnificent. And in the Slavic traditions as well, you have the Noci Vana Kupale, which is a little bit further. When is it? The 5th, 6th of July? Six, yeah, it's a night between 6th and 7th of July. Yeah, but we're combining everything. And so usually, traditionally, you have these very, very small fires going. Mm -hmm. And again, you make a wish or an intention. Uh, and either by yourself or holding hands with your partner, with whom you want a, a good, successful future, you go and you have to jump over the fire. And you cross the threshold into a new year, into a new cleanse. A new gem. I love it, but I'm telling you yeah. one thing. I'm taking the stilettos off. Take them off. <laughs> You'll be closer to the ground and nature. Also, Smith, I think you're wearing a very flammable dress. Oh, yes, that's so true. Maybe, um, I better yeah. jump very high. Mm. Yeah. Also, this cleanses your energy and protects you from mermaids. Oh, oh thank so goodness. Well. Because when we get I the lake worried. back, they yeah, could get exactly. close. So if you, have, if you live near water, this is actually very important to have. Thank you for joining us for a day of painting and celebrations at Leland. I'd like to say a huge thank you to all of the patrons of the Chateau Diaries. And if you haven't seen this week's patron video yet, it's the latest update from the secret project that Amory is working on for British TV, which I'll hopefully be able to reveal to all of you in the autumn. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how it is done. <laughs> Today, I'd like to say a special thank you to the Dauphins and Dauphines of Lalande, 
Gloria Hinrichs Nelson, Donna McKay, Alex Maitlis, Joey Mullen, Karen Nicholson, and Kathy Norrie. Thank you for supporting the Chateau Diaries. And thanks to everyone watching. I look forward to seeing you on Sunday.